Yeah, you can. So here's a follow up on our earth bowl, American, Native American earth bowl. It's not dry yet. It's okay. still really wet and damp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build an upside down fire over the top of it, heat it up, and uh, dry it out like that, and then fire harden it at the same time and hopefully it, uh, it works. If it cracks or anything, we'll have to get some more clay, rub clay in those cracks, and then uh and then uh repeat the process fire harden it again dad there's an ant okay so what we're doing is we're just going to build the upside down fire on our uh on top of our uh earth bowl build it up let it burn down and we're going to let it burn for a couple of hours and uh i have a uh I have my plate also, which I forgot to put in there, and I'm gonna put it in there too. So, we'll just tip this up. Hey Dad, will it stick together? No, because oh. it's not wet, and it'll start. What this will do, they're not all the way dry though, that's what I'm worried about. You want them all the way dried out, but we don't have time for that, so we're just gonna let, we're gonna build the upside down fire on top of our pit, Hopefully, as it burns, it dries and doesn't crack, but I have a feeling they might crack, so we don't have too much hope for it. If the bowl cracks, we'll fill it in with more clay and repeat the process when we have more time. Stay tuned. We're going to build this upside down fire. Oh, here. Go ahead and restart it. Where does it go? So in order to build the upside down fire, I, we do it you know, essentially the way we build every fire. We start with the big logs. Then we lay the smaller logs the opposite way, smaller logs the opposite way, and all the way until you have your small kindling up on top. That way when you light it, it burns down through your bigger logs and it's a sustainable fire so it'll stay lit for two hours or so. Stay tuned, we'll show you where we're at. Firing up the clay bowl. Yeah, that thing's gonna be really, really melty or... Hopefully, with the help of this upside down fire, it'll help dry out the clay a little more before it fire hardens. I let it dry out for 24 hours, but I don't think it was long enough. We'll see. So, there's the end of our <laughs> earth bowl fire. Now that's still hot. But it's not hot enough to combust again, of course. So we're going to leave that there. Those have got to cool all the way down. So we'll leave that there for a few days and then we'll come back and uncover it. Hopefully they survived. Plus that'll keep it, um, that'll keep it sheltered from the, from the weather while we're gone. But normally, never, ever leave a fire going. Yeah, yeah. that is how you start forest fires. Correct. But those will be okay. Yep. We're going to have to put that one out a little more. <laughs>